What's going on guys? Josh Hugh here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are finally getting back to our roots. We're finally getting to you guys. Uh, getting, get, I can't even. Getting to you guys? What am I fucking saying? We are finally getting another car video for you guys. It's been dying. I've been dying to get back to my roots and get you guys another car video. We're going to head over to my buddy uh, Alex's house. Uh, you guys may remember him in a very old video uh, where we drove around in his Mark IV Supra. Did some pulls and everything. It's NA right now, non-turbo. Uh, he bought it non-turbo 5-speed. I believe he's going 6-speed turbo. Uh, so this is going to be like a quick little walk around of his current setup before he pulls the motor out, puts in the new one uh, with new transmission, new drivetrain. Uh, he's really going to do a lot with it. It's a lot of money going into this car. So I thought it would be pretty rad to swing by his house, get you guys a couple clips of how it sits right now, and then we'll obviously do the revised video when it's turboed and do some pulls with it later. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Josh. I film videos of cars and lifestyle. If you guys aren't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell for more updates and everything. And let's go check out Alex's Supra. I know I sound like a broken record, but still no Evo. I gotta change the oil, gotta get retuned. Still waiting for the new shop to get more ready so I can bring it over, but in the meantime, Rolls Royce, baby. Alright guys, so we made it with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Alex, with the one and only Supra. He's got a bunch of stuff to show us in a bit. He's going to fill up his bucket. Sorry, I don't mean to put your garage on blast, but... <laughs> so what we did with the car so far, uh, we added the Red Ox side skirts with the carpet extension. Nothing crazy, but just, you know, simple side skirts. JDM rear spats, TRD rear spoiler. That's basically it. Everything else, I removed everything, all the carbon bullshit that I had on there. Kept it simple, all white. It's a cleaner look. So that's pretty much it for that. The front bumper, let's go back to the front. <laughs> front bumper's not on the car because there was a couple minor issues with paint and basically it's getting redone. But basically what's gonna look like is a OEM front bumper, 97, 98 front grill with the basic lip. Yeah, just a clean, simple setup. That's basically it for the body. The interior, we have uh, the Mercado seats, imported from used racing car parts on Instagram, with the auto power roll cage. TRD steering wheel. Same, pretty much same interior. I gotta put it all back together. It's a mess right now, but <laughs> it's a simple setup. It's all good. And then, uh, Brake calipers aren't on there yet, but we're gonna be running twin turbo stock calipers, pretty much repainted in white. I think I have them somewhere in the garage, actually. Let me see if I clean them out. They're somewhere starting here. <laughs> While Alex uh, looks for the brake calipers, this is a little closer, in depth look at the interior. Super clean TRD steering wheel. Everything's facing towards you, just like a airplane fighter pilot. You know what I mean. Here's the calipers, here's front, here's the rear. Damn, those are nice. Painted to match the car with the OEM Super Decal. Hell yeah. Oil pressure and uh, fuel pressure. Yeah, I got the same ones. Right here we have the grid exhaust tip. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run that yet or just do a fucking full on straight pipe. <laughs> See what I end up doing. And here we have pretty much the rest of my shit. Fuel pump. Oh, nice. Fuel pressure regulator. Uh, 1000 cc injectors. 90 millimeter throttle body. Some brand new motor mounts. Oil radiator cap. What kind of manifold is this? This one? Yeah. This is a. Uh, this thing looks expensive. <laughs> it's not actually. Oh, really? <laughs> This is an eBay manifold. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> My buddy is running on a 1J. But this shit should work for getting rid of the ugly fucking stock manifold. Yeah. It looks fucking dope. The welds are pretty nice. Yeah, it's really high quality. 
Well, for being what it is, you know, fuck it. Yeah, hell yeah, whatever works. Oh, oh shit. that roller. Uh, 67 millimeter turbo from Comp. Jeez. Thanks to Jonathan Tice for this one. What's that thing rated for, you know? Uh, I believe he said 900 horsepower. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't gonna be pushing that much. <laughs> <laughs> Only eight. Only eight. <laughs> Show the wheels off. Yeah, this is the old setup. Old setup. This last thing in Piscium because they're gonna be sold today. Hopefully, and then the new setup will be a surprise. I'm gonna be ordering through Mo. Shout out to Mo Supra. He's gonna be hooking me up with some new setup wheels. Hopefully, get rid of these tonight. Get they're gonna be like the today. the same spec, you think, or a little uh, different? No, a different spec, a little more aggressive, I think. Cause what um, what size tires on this right now? As far as the wheel, it's gonna be more aggressive, but tire size will be a little weaker. These tires are 315. Jesus. 30, 315 30s, and then the fronts are 275 35s. So I think my rears will, I mean, the fronts will be my rears eventually in the new setup. Yeah. 315s will be gone. I'm not gonna run that no more. And the moment you guys all been waiting for, the K series that's going in it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh yeah, I probably should have mentioned that your car's NA. Oh, we'll pop the hood around so they can see the clean engine base. For sure. So, 2JZ, GT, VVTi, stock twin turbos. All this bullshit and that bullshit's coming off. Putting on a aftermarket intake manifold, big single turbo, and possibly a custom uh, exhaust manifold through uh, Enticed. Do you know what um what car this came out of? Like an Aristo or? I think these come out of uh, the Aristo in Japan. Got engine did paint it too. Didn't cut any corners. My life be like. Oh hell yeah! yeah. Everything's been My life be like. Dude, that's super clean. I've actually never seen a car with engine baby sprayed. Really? Yeah, and most people just like paint it with the engine just in there. Say, Fuck it. No, yeah. <laughs> I took the motor out and then I had everything sent off the paint so. You know, it'll look more legit. I'm gonna try to get everything clean and you know, hopefully the engine looks pretty good once it's done. Yeah. And then for the people watching, you're gonna run E85 or meth? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep it 91 for now. Okay. E85 eventually in the future, hopefully. Yeah. All right, so if you guys wanna see more of Alex's build, I'm gonna plug his Instagram on screen. Um, he's gonna take it to Entice, right? Yeah, it's gonna be going to uh, Entice Motorsports hopefully in the next couple months and hopefully get this shit done soon. As soon as the uh, the corona, as soon as the coronavirus is out of it. <laughs> goes away, focus right. on the Supra, and then we'll do a uh, different ride along. Oh yeah, we'll do this shit soon. All right, so leaving Alex's house right now. We we're talking about um maybe co. Ooh, little little radio moment. Me and him were talking about um, hosting some kind of cruise, or uh, he might co-host a meet soon. That would be pretty dope. Once the Supra's running, and I still got to get the Evo retuned and. I gotta dial in all types of crazy stuff with the Evo, but it'd be pretty dope once everything uh, gets taken care of. I'm really stoked to film that next video with Alex uh, when the Supra is done with the new engine in it. If you guys are ready to see some big single turbo Supra poles, give this video a like, please. You know, I'm trying to get a little hype up for Alex. This isn't even for me at this point, it's for his build, uh, just because he's put a lot of money, a lot of effort into it, and he's a good guy. All right, back at the crib. Hope you guys enjoyed that little update with Alex. I know today's video was a little bit short, but I was going back and forth with Alex on Instagram and I was asking him how the Supra was doing and we were just talking about random stuff and I was like, dude, let's film the update video right now. And he was like, bet, I'm down. So I basically just shot over to his house, unplanned, unscripted, show you guys what's going on with the Supra and just banged it out real quick before, uh, you know, once it, once he uh, tows the car to entice and they start tearing it apart, um, there's going to be a lot that's going into it. So it's going to be a really nice before and after. And like I said before, I will be planning a cruise to Neptune's Net for sure in the summer with Alex. Uh, he will be hosting a car meet separately uh, at some point with a few other people, potentially. Not really confirmed yet, but the cruise for sure, for sure is going to happen as long as the coronavirus and everything goes away and uh, life goes back to normal. So if you guys want to keep up more with that, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll plug it on screen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys making it to this point in the video. If you guys liked it, be sure to drop a comment, drop a like. 
Also, make a guess of how much horsepower you think Alex's car is going to make. I already kind of know what he's shooting for, but I'm kind of curious to hear your response in the comments down below to see how much power it's going to make. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.